If you're watching this, you've probably Googled, how do I turn my Amiga modules into MIDI files? Well, it's really, really easy. The question should be, how do you convert your Amiga modules to MIDI files and not have them sounding absolutely terrible? So this video is going to work in two parts. First, we'll look at how you convert your module to MIDI, and second, how to make it sound good. Okay, so I've written this little module on the Amiga. It's deliberately simple, and it's going to convert to MIDI as well as can be expected. And the reason for this is because we're only using five instruments. There's a bass drum, there's a snare drum, there's a hi-hat, and then there's a bass and a lead. The big difference between an Amiga module and a MIDI file is that the Amiga module is made up of sound samples and note data where the MIDI file is just the note data. So what's important with this module is that the bass line and the main tune are using two different samples, but they've both been sampled in the same key as each other. And you can see from the note data that it's all in C. This is going to make for a really easy MIDI conversion, but of course when you start doing your own modules, or even other people's, you don't know where those samples came from originally. So this is the problem. The note data says it's a C in Octave 3, but it's not necessarily. It could be anything. It could be a loop, it could be a speech sample. Luckily on this module, it's a bass line, it's a lead line, and they're both in the same key, so this will be dead easy to convert. We'll look at more complex modules later. The other thing about this module is that all the drums, whether that's the bass, the hi-hat or the snare, they're all on the note of C. Here at the workstation, C sounds like this. Or, if we use a drum patch, C sounds like this. Either way, it's not what we want, we're going to need to fix that later. But, it's a really simple module, it'll take two minutes. So in preparation to turn this into a MIDI file, I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'm going to write down that sample number one is my hi-hat, sample number two isn't used, number three is a bass drum, number four is a snare, five is a bass line, six isn't used, seven is my lead note, and that's all the samples. We're going to use a program which is called OpenMPT. It's a free program, it's dead easy to do the MIDI conversion. So we'll download OpenMPT from their website, then we'll use that program and we'll load our module into it. Then we're going to select this option, export to MIDI. And here's the important thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that each individual Amiga instrument is exported to its own individual MIDI channel. This is going to allow us to make individual changes to that instrument once it's in the MIDI arranger. One thing that was very important to me is the MIDI program. Um, I need to select no program change because I'm going to do all my manual revoicing on the MIDI arranger later. But if you'd like to, you can pick instruments from this list if you think they match the instrument from the Amiga. So you can see the actual process of converting the module to MIDI is dead, dead easy. The difficult bit's going to be making it sound nice when it's in your arranger. So while I save this MIDI file to a USB stick, let's just quickly remind ourselves what the module sounded like on the Amiga. Okay, USB stick in the arranger, and MIDI file loaded up, and here is our beautiful song. Yep, that's pretty terrible, isn't it? Now, earlier on, we wrote down the MIDI channels and the names and everything, and we put our bass line on MIDI channel 4. So, obviously, this will vary from one arranger to another, but I've turned off all the channels apart from channel 4. That's my bass line. And, of course, because it's come from a ProTracker module, we know that it's too high up, it's in octave 3, which is way too high for a bass line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the um, the console first of all, and I'm going to get instrument number 4, change that to a bass, and then just pick one. So let's have a listen again. Find one we like. That'll do. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Song Creator facility and I'm going to transpose that down. It was channel uh, 4. I'm going to transfer that down uh, 24 notes, execute that, let's have a listen. Okay, and that's now a lot better. So we'll do the same thing for one of the drums now. Now channel 2 was our bass drum, so I'm just going to keep the bass instrument number 4 on. I'm going to go to channel 2 and we'll add that in. And of course that's a piano, we want a drum. So I'm going to go into the mixing console, I'm going to change channel 2 to be a drum patch, like this, and now it sounds like this. Because the note that was used in the module corresponds with the whistle noise on the keyboard. So I'm going to go back in to the song creator, I'm going to transpose channel number 2 but this time I'm just going to go through all the notes and find one that's a bass drum. There's one. It's a bit heavy but it'll do for the moment. Execute that change. And then what you do is you just keep doing this for every other instrument. So I'm going to do the hi-hat and the snare and find a nice lead and then I'll come back to you. Okay so where we're at now then is all the instruments have been revoiced with things that were a bit similar. Um, I've knocked the volume of some of the things down, the snare drum was ridiculously loud um, and uh, I've transposed the bass down two octaves and here is what we've got. So there we are, it's a long way from being finished or even being good, but it's an Amiga module in a MIDI arranger and it's recognisable. So the work starts here, we balance, we revoice, we do whatever we need, but the building blocks are in place. So let's move on to a really complicated module and see what we can do with that. For this example I'm going to use the module Red Sector Theme by Matt Simmons. It's a favourite of mine from back in the day but it's also got a lot going on and it's got a lot of good examples of the obstacles that you'll encounter when you're converting your old modules into MIDI's. So let's go through the samples and see what they sound like. Ah, okay, this one's not in the same key as all the others. In fact, here's the bass and that lead instrument together, all in the key of C. He must have had to transpose the notes that used this sample to make the module sound right, but if you convert this to MIDI, any notes played with that instrument will be out of tune with the rest of the module. So that instrument is going to need transposing on the MIDI workstation later. And just listen to this. Wow. And by Amiga standards, that's a really long sample. So, probably to save memory, it's at a very low sample rate, and again, not in the same key as the other samples used in the song. We'll need to fix that, as well as finding an instrument that sounds like that, we'll have to make sure that it plays at the right pitch. Again, that means transposing the MIDI channel. Next, we can look at the use of percussion sounds. Your MIDI arranger has drum sounds you can use, and they're going to sound like this. But in the mod file, Matt plays a snare drum at a pitch of B in octave 2. This is great on the Amiga, but a B in octave 2 on the keyboard sounds like this. This isn't a big problem because we can transpose like we did on the previous module. A bigger problem is the use of the Tom Tom here, and he uses the Tom Tom sample played at B, E, A, D and F. We can use the same Tom Tom sound on our arranger, but of course it's only going to be on a specific note. B, E, A, D, F on the arranger sounds like this. So we're faced with a choice. We could either delete those notes and then re-add some tom-toms in the MIDI workstation, or we could find the appropriate notes on the workstation, work out where they are on the Amiga, and put them into the ProTracker module ourselves. Obviously it'll sound wrong in the ProTracker module, but it'll be okay when it transfers to the workstation. 
In this pattern, match using instrument B quietly in the part of the module where the instruments start to build. But later, instrument B is the main lead instrument. So that's going to be an issue, because although it sounds OK on the Amiga, through MIDI, having the main tune and some of the background in the same instrument is going to sound like this. What I'm going to do here is use Pro Tracker and go into the patterns where the same instrument is used twice at the same time and over type one of them with a different instrument that isn't already used by the module. So you can see here in the first channel I've over typed all of the B instruments using instrument number eight. This instrument isn't used anywhere else in the module and it's not even appropriate. It's going to sound terrible, but it doesn't matter because we're going to change all that when it's in the MIDI arrangement. Yep, that sounds terrible, all right, but it's two separate instruments now, so when we convert it to MIDI, we can use two separate MIDI channels, and then we can play with those in the workstation independently of each other. Finally, if we play an F note in the octave three, using sample number nine, it's going to sound like this. But of course, that's a loop and it's not going to transfer across to MIDI because those notes on a MIDI keyboard are going to sound like this. So now you have to make a choice. You could either leave that as it is and use it as your bass drum, or you could add some hi-hats and recreate a drum beat from multiple samples, or you could say, well, I recognize that drum sample, that's Technotronic, and resample it into your equipment, or what I'm going to do is just don't export that instrument at all and rebuild the drums from scratch on the MIDI workstation. Up to you. So I hope that's given you some ideas and it's a bit inspirational. I've got loads of old Amiga modules that I did back in the day and I've really enjoyed messing around with them on the MIDI keyboard. The main thing to take away from it is that once you've prepared your module and got it into the MIDI keyboard, all your normal musical skills are then what's needed to sort out the voices, the balance and just make it sound as good as it's going to be. So thanks for watching this video. Do give us a like and a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and hopefully see you again on another one. Bye!